What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Say You Say from the Detroit Collective. Oh, hi. From, from Detroit Collective. Um, doing something a little different this time. Last few episodes I've taken you guys down to Detroit to explore kind of iconic places and taking some pictures. Today's a little bit different. This video is a little bit different, right bud? What's different? What are you doing for the first time today? Um, um, skiing. Skiing. We're going skiing for the first time. But on top of that, I'm going to tell you guys a little story around um, some good things that happened here with my wife and how we kind of met and how I met my father-in-law. And then also something very tragic. So this, this whole episode's about memories. Right, bud? All right, let's go. Ready, bud? Easton, mm -hmm. are you really excited to go skiing? Yeah. Why are you so excited? Because my room. Okay. They put this uh, little barrier right here so he comes and helps us get fitted right behind you. What do you think, bud? Good. Things good? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. For you? All right. You need a bathing suit for what? For good swimming because there's a swimming pool there. That's right. Yeah, and we need that. And we also we need a bag for skiing. Hey. Oh, there's Grandpa. Grandpa! All right, so the thing about Boyne Mountain is, is it's all about memories. I don't know if I said that in the last clip, but if I did, I apologize. It's all about memories. And so today, I'm bringing my son, little guy back here, up for his very first ski trip. And so I'm gonna be capturing a lot of that, bringing you guys along with me, taking pictures, uh, I'm recording on the Nikon Z6. I'm on the 20 millimeter right now, I got the 50 millimeter. Carrying cameras around, big cameras is gonna be tough, especially chasing, chasing the kids, but uh, it's gonna be a fun time. But I also wanna tell you guys, a little backstory about the first time I ever met my father-in-law. Oh, second. About the first time I ever met my father-in-law. Um, the funny story, my wife and I were just kind of starting dating a little bit, not really. And let me sit this down real quick. So the first time I ever met my father-in-law was um, up here at, was up here at Boyne Mountain. And it was one of those deals where I had like been playing hockey the night before and my wife and I had just started talking at the time. We weren't really dating, but sort of dating. And she saw him up skiing, having a great time, and she usually come up. I got up at 3.30 in the morning, 4 in the morning, after being out, having have a little couple beers, got in the car and met them for breakfast up here at 8, 8.30 in the morning. You know that? Yeah. You know that? Mm -hmm. And that was the very first time I met my father-in-law, and I stayed with him to go skiing. Uh, I pulled up in an Acura. He's like a Dodge UAW guy, so that was a big fail. And um, I showed up with like old, old, equipment that just was dinosaur old but skiing for me is like ice skating which I do all the time and it was very easy so that's the very first time I met my wife and funny story on the way up I stopped at 24-hour Myers it's a for you guys not in Michigan that's a like a Walmart or something if you will and I bought ice fishing gear because they didn't have ski gear at Meyer. and I left the security tag or they didn't take the security tag off of the pants and I thought it was like an avalanche beacon Hilarious story we still talk about today. It's the first time I met my father-in-law. Shortly after I sold my Acura, I bought a Dodge Ram, made him real Daddy. happy, and it's been Daddy. happy bliss ever since. Um, What's up, bud? You want what? Of course you do. Of course you do. Daddy. We'll get something later, okay? No, give me the stuff. What's that? The one's down there. Keep going. Come on, bud. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready to rock? Yeah, the camera put the most 
Well, did you run out of steam? Yeah. Alright, I'll get you. Easton, is this a lot of work so far or what? Uh, what? Yeah, are you having fun? Yeah. Or what? <laughs> or what? So my father-in-law signed up Easton for our two-hour private lesson and my daughter Mia. Um, I don't think we'll make it a full two hours, I'll be honest with you, but we're definitely going to try and I'm hanging out with them. So this will be a lot of fun. I think she's going to be crushing it after this. I think this will be, good, this will be good overall. There you go, buddy. I gotta tell you guys, that was probably one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. Um, watching my kids ski, <laughs> the, the instructor taking them on jumps and stuff, he just loved it. That's the kind of stuff you need to do uh, if you want your kids to ski with you, get them excited, get them into it. Um, but I want to tell you guys a story, something, this is on one of the tragic side of things. Hopefully the wind's not too bad, it's, it's really windy out today. Uh, but you guys see this chairlift over there? Oh, you guys can see it's way over there. Um, anyways, way over there there's a chairlift. and. About four years ago, and I think it is four years ago, because it was, it was when Trump was about to be inaugurated. That's how I know, because I got asked that question when I was in the hospital. I actually fell off one of the chairlifts here, and uh, it was just a freak accident. I wasn't screwing around, nothing like that, but it was just a freak accident. And um, at the time, I hadn't had my son Easton yet. It was just me and my wife, and then we had our stepdaughter Mia. And uh, I just, I'm super thankful that I, I survived that fall. But I ended up just like leaning forward, talking to my wife. The thing hit a bump, hit a stanchion. I fell off, and I fell like 20, 25 feet. And I'm super lucky. My, the snowboard didn't get caught behind me, so I didn't like sever my spine. I had my helmet on, so I stayed safe from that. And uh, you know, I ended up being somewhat okay. I mean, I separated my pelvis like nine millimeters. I couldn't walk for a little while. I had to use a walker. Um, I had a crazy concussion, so I had a lot of like memory lapses, a lot of like PTSD type stuff where. I was like waking up thinking I was falling um, for a while. You know, I couldn't play hockey for a bit. But I tell you this, and I think if there's any message in this story, it's never take for granted. You never know when you're, you know, what to take your last day. For, I don't know, a good 50% of people that would have fallen from that same position, that would have ended up a lot differently with paralyzation or maybe even death. And for me, I'm just so blessed to be able to be here today with my kids, or at least two of the three kids, teaching them how to ski. And that's kind of the thing, right? I mean. I have the good memory, I met my wife's and the wife's family and kind of the beginning of something that led to where we are today. I have this tragic memory that almost, uh, ended up almost caused me to die or be severely injured. And I'm very thankful to be here so I could have my son, Easton, and be able to take him and I'm making new memories today. And I don't know, there's, there's more to the story. I don't want to belabor that and I'm not asking for a pity party. It's just, I wanted to share with you guys kind of the significance of Wine Mountain for me and what happened and uh, yeah, it's crazy. So. Don't take it for granted, guys. Um, every day is a blessing. If you're upset about something silly or stupid, just let it go. It ain't worth it because uh, things change quickly. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this run and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we just spent, uh, what, the last eight hours skiing, taking some naps. Got this little guy. We got him out on the slopes. He did very good today. For only skiing twice in his life at three years old, he was super impressive. Just typical three-year-old stuff, you know, gets a little tired. 
but it's all about memories. I didn't bring my camera for a majority of that because, well, two things. I had to chase him around, and two, sometimes it's just better to be in the moment. I know I talked about capturing memories with your camera, that is the point of it, but sometimes just being in the moment is the best memory there is. And so now we're headed down to the hot tub, which is like a staple every day after we ski. We go hot tub it up, bring a few beers, and, uh, and relax. Also, I'm recording this on the iPhone because I'm not bringing my camera to the hot tub. It's kind of weird. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been a great weekend so far, and I'm looking forward to uh, just hanging with the family a little bit more.